So I'm here by a B-17 and this is the Sperry ball turret. Uh, it's just as small as it looks. Uh, my grandfather, Robert McKay, flew the ball during World War II. This is kind of the fetal position you needed to get into to make that work. I'm going to try to show you the inside of this thing. You see this hatch right here. This hatch with the gun straight down is actually open to the inside and the young man would climb into the turret from above. It's not very well lit but he would st step onto the seat and then step into that fixed stirrup over there. This stirrup over here actually worked his uh, the range finder on his gun sight. Here's the gun sight and he could control the light from here. I want to show you the world's first joystick. This is how he fired his guns and he would hold these handles up above his head. Turning the turret up, down, trigger for left, trigger for right. If one of his guns jammed, he still had another gun available. Why those were separate. Notice he's got twin 50 calibers at his ears here. These guns came out. A gunner would typically get up at 3 or 4 in the morning and get his guns ready for engine start at 7 a.m. So pretty, pretty cramped quarters here. Um, and I'm going to show you the inside. This is uh, electrically run. Not a lot of hydraulics in here. Um, and as you can probably tell, uh, the belly gunner didn't get out. Not a lot of turret gunners became POWs. So it was very difficult to get out of this turret in an emergency. And uh, you were pretty lonely down here. So I'm going to go inside. I'm going to show you the gears and uh, show you the ammo. There you have it. Sperry ball turret. So you can try to imagine what the world looked like from inside of this with all this plexi and the crazy reflections it, it would provide. Uh, you probably weren't sure what you were looking at half the time. And notice this is geared here and I'm going to show you the gears on the inside as well. And what would happen a lot if, uh, if your turret got hit, once these gears were damaged, this turret wasn't moving and you couldn't get out of it. And, and uh, you may have seen the, the famous footage of the plane that lost its hydraulics and went in with no landing gear with the ball turret gunner in the turret. Uh, pretty sad, but that, that went down.